The following facilities management insight was filmed at the NFMNT conference and expo. And what are the components that are involved in it? You know, there's a foundation. You know, you have basements. You know, parking garages under basements, the footers, all those things. You start with the foundation. Then from the foundation, you come up into the walls. Those are the, you know, it's the building. We say that's, you know, because we're, and I'll talk about it a little later, but we call that the envelope, what kind of keeps the weather out. Another aspect of it is windows. So in that whole building envelope thing, we've got windows. And then the last aspect of it is, is the roofs. So these things come together that make the building is what we define as the building envelope. So we've kind of pigeonholed it and said it's not just the building. These are the elements that keep out what? What does the building envelope do? Keeps the outside environment out and the inside environment in. Now the question is, is you know, what do you mean by environment? Okay, the first thing that we talk about in environment is air. It's one of those things, you know, you could see the effects of the wind, and, you know, like in Nebraska, the winds are blowing really heavy, and they have an effect, and we see air. That's one of the things that we deal with. You know, that's one of the elements of the environment. Next thing is radiation. So when we're talking about radiation, what are we talking about? Like in Arizona, we got the solar radiation the heat beating down on things, changing how things work because they're absorbing heat. But then on the other thing in Wisconsin, you know, because building envelope, keeping the outside out, inside in, we're trying to keep the heat in. So we're dealing with radiation, thermal, solar, all those different things. And the last one that we all pay attention to because, you know, when, when water leaks on the president's desk, he gets a little upset. You know, so those are the obvious things. So whether it's, you know, Nebraska or, well, actually, it could be the weather in Texas on Thursday. 